I should probably start this review by stating that I am a huge Pokemon fan. I spent a lot of my childhood playing Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow on my Game Boy Colour and blowing all of my £10 pocket money on Pokemon cards, hoping for an elusive shiny. I don't think there was anyone in my school year who didn't know the words for the show's theme tune. I also remember bawling my eyes out in the final act of Pokemon the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, when Pikachu wouldn't fight back against his clone. So something I was hesitant about watching this film is an understatement, given the more adult tone of the trailers. Thankfully, Pokemon Detective Pikachu captures much of the optimism, nostalgia and heart of the original show, definitely mixing noir elements with comedy and action. Directed by Rob Letterman, the film centres on 21-year-old former Pokemon trainer Tim Gurman, played by Justice Smith, who teams up with the talking Detective Pikachu, voiced by Ryan Reynolds, reporter Lucy Stevens, played by Catherine Newton and her Psyduck, in order to solve the case of his missing father. At first, the plot seems pretty simple. A guy who doesn't want a Pokemon buddy has to team up with one to find his dad. However, there were some genuine twists and turns I didn't see coming, with a lot of heartwarming moments along the way. After watching the trailers, I didn't think Ryan Reynolds would work as the voice of Pikachu. He's pretty much become Deadpool to me. But surprisingly, he really pulled it off. He softened his tone and came across a lot less sarcastic than Reynolds we've come to know. However, there were a few moments where you couldn't help but think of him, which does take you out of the moment somewhat. The main heart of the film, however, was the central pairing of Reynolds and Justice Smith, with the two developing a strong chemistry as their bond developed throughout the film. The supporting cast included Lucy Stevens, who really leaned into the whole noir-style detective vibe, and a hilariously unexpected performance from Bill Nighy. There were a number of Pokemon in the movie too, of course. Psyduck and Mr Mime came very close to sealing the show. Visually, I was genuinely surprised by how well the live-action adaptation worked successfully bringing to life the many different characters from my childhood in a number of different environments. The animated characters blended naturally into the urban cityscapes of Rhyme City, with Squirtle's work in the fire department, Growlithe of the police dogs, and the champs coming in useful as they directed traffic. I also really enjoyed the noir-style aspects of the film, including Harry's apartment filled with case files, the dive bar featuring Jigglypuff singing karaoke, and the underground battles, as well as a nice callback to the games with the main villain being located at the top of a skyscraper. The Pokemon themselves are much more photorealistic compared to their animated counterparts, with impressive textures and lighting. The amount of detailing in Detective Pikachu's fur was genuinely impressive, and was very successful since he was utterly adorable. There were also some breathtaking scenes featuring Pokemon in natural habitat, seeing wild Bulbasaur's was a particular highlight for me. Overall, I had so much fun with Pokemon Detective Pikachu. The film was smart, humorous and stylish outing, which I didn't know I needed in my life. It was a very different take on the subject matter than we've previously seen, but ultimately proved to really pay off, hopefully opening the door to more films set in this universe. Two thumbs up. So are you excited about Detective Pikachu? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to see more. Thanks. See you in the next one.